this is one of those projects that I've been meaning to do for a very long time and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. But today I'm going to take the time to change out the wood in this trailer. I've got several rotten boards and it just needs to be done. So basically this whole trailer is made up of angle iron um, and that is the main support along the bed of the trailer. Now a lot of these bolts have been in there for a very long time and have become rusted and they don't want to come out so um, I went ahead and I sprayed some WD-40 on those to hopefully they would soak and loosen up to where I could get them out now this one right here is holding it on a piece of angle iron that closes in the back part of the boards that make up the trailer bed it's stripped out but what I'm doing I'm taking a flathead uh, bit and I'm making a couple of wider marks in there so I can get this flathead screwdriver bit in there and so hopefully I can make my own uh, marks in it to where it can turn with a flathead instead of having uh, having to use a star bit. And just to go ahead and let you know, none of this worked. This uh, the the star head bit stripped out, the flathead bit uh, twisted on me, and I also tried uh, a pair of uh, channel locks or vice grips. I actually tried both. And I decided just to cut it off. I'm just going to cut the head of this off. I couldn't get up under this piece of angle iron where I would have just <clears throat> cut off the, the, the bolt itself. But I cut off the head of it and then I can remove the angle iron that is closing this off. So you can kind of see how this works. All the wood lays in there. There's a channel up front as well. Uh, but this back piece of angle iron just kind of caps everything off. So and there's the bolt that I just cut off. I'll go ahead, once I get all the wood removed, I'll get rid of that. So I get all of the wood that is rotten, uh, go ahead and remove that. There is one or two boards here that I possibly could have left into the trailer, uh, but I went ahead and just bought enough wood to do the entire trailer. That way it's all replaced at the same time uh, next time. Uh, there is one board I've replaced on this trailer at an odd time and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it as well and that is it here and so it's got a uh, bolt in it that will not come loose so I'm gonna I'll go ahead and cut that one off as well um, I don't use these bolts when I put all the new wood in uh, I do something a little bit different I'll explain that in just a second but I got all the wood out uh, and I'm gonna clean up all of the surfaces that the wood will rest on and I'm going to measure here to make sure that I've got a uh, the right measurement to go all the way from the, the front channel that this wood fits into all the way back to where you saw me take that piece of angle iron out. And so the way this operate or the way this goes in, it goes in a, in a channel up front and I'll show you in just a second. But I want to go ahead and get all the, all the boards in here and then I'll cut them off and slide them in place uh, one at a time. But just to go ahead and have all the wood in, in one place and cut them off uh, will just make things easier than going back and forth. My process here was to have all the boards on the trailer in one place so I'm not going back and forth. Uh, but I prop each board up on a piece of scrap 2x4, measure, strike a line, and cut the end off. And so I've got the right length of board. Now I have to feed the board into a channel at the front of the trailer first before it will fit. So once I get the board into that channel, it should drop down in place. And then I can start spacing out the boards accordingly or however I want. And I'm just spacing these just as they were before. So there should be no issues there. Uh, now, once I get all this spaced out like I want it, I can start securing, securing the boards to the angle iron. And the center angle iron of the trailer has holes down it to where I can use screws through the hole and just pull the wood down to the angle irons. So that's how the center of the boards are secured. Now, the very last board is gonna have to be ripped. And so I measured, once I had, out, had all the boards secured, I measured the leftover space on the, the very last uh, open area for that last board. And it come out to be about six inches. So I just ran my speed square and a pencil, referenced off the six inch mark and just ran it all the way down with a pencil and that gave me a nice straight line to make a rip cut. 
So the board is sized perfectly for the leftover space there and the spacing is just right. So now I can go in and put in the last piece of angle iron, secure it down with three screws and call this project complete. I'm really glad I went ahead and did this. It was way overdue. And so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not a subscriber here, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel so you can catch our future videos. And check us out over on our website at stoneandsons.net where you can see what social media outlets that we are active on and follow us up there. And be sure while you're there to sign up for our newsletter so you can stay in the loop and we email out projects and plans and all sorts of things. So thank you for watching the video and we'll see you next time. Thanks.